Let's take a look at an example where we use trigonometry to solve a two-dimensional problem. The base of a block of flats is 200 meters away from the base of a cell phone tower. From the top of the block of flats, the angle of elevation to the top of the tower is 34 degrees and the angle of depression to the bottom of the tower is 62 degrees. So we know that the cell phone tower is taller than the block of flats because if it wasn't taller, we wouldn't be able to have an angle of elevation from the flats to the tower. So I'd like you to try this question on your own. Please pause the video here and try it on your own. Okay, number A, draw a diagram to represent the scenario. The first thing that we need is to have a ground level. So the first line that we need to draw is a horizontal line that represents the ground. And remember that we assume that the ground is completely flat. We now need a line that represents the block of flats. Okay, so if we draw a vertical line to represent the block of flats, and we know that the, the building will make a 90 degree angle with the ground. Okay, so so far we have our block of flats and our ground level. We now need a line that represents the tower. And remember I said a moment ago that the tower must be taller than the block of flats. Otherwise, I won't be able to have an angle of elevation. In order to be able to have to look up, I need the tower to be taller than the flats. Now, whenever we are dealing with angles of elevation and depression, we need a horizontal line between the two objects. The angle of elevation is when the line of sight is above the horizontal line. So here, this angle of elevation is 34 degrees. And then we need a line of sight from the top of the block of flats to the base of the tower, and that angle of depression is 62 degrees. Okay, a couple of other things that we know. We know that horizontal lines always meet a vertical line at a 90 degree angle. We also know that horizontal lines are parallel. And we also know that the this shape that is formed here, if we just give these things labels, A, B, C, D, E, we know that A, B, C, D is a rectangle because that will also be a 90 degree angle. And if we have two angles at 90 degrees, we know that the corner angles will also be 90 degrees. So we have a rectangle. So that means that this side is equal in length to that and this side is equal in length to that side. We were also told that the base of the block of flats was 200 meters away from the base of the cell phone tower. Okay, now that we've got all that information filled in, we can now be in a position to determine the height of the tower. Now, if you look at the height of the tower, it's represented by line EC. But if you have a look at triangle ACE, it in itself is not a right angled triangle. So at this stage, we don't have enough knowledge of trigonometry to work in triangles that are not right angled. So we can only work in right angled triangles. But what we know about the line EC, which represents the height of the tower, is that it is made up of ED plus DC. If we knew the length of ED and we knew the length of DC, we could add them to find the length of EC. Okay, so let's see if we are able to do that. We know that line AD is also 200 meters. We have an angle inside triangle ADE, so we know that this is the opposite side and the 200 is the adjacent side. So opposite and adjacent gives us the ratio of 10. So we know that the 10 of 34 degrees is equal to ED over 200. So therefore ED is equal to 200 multiplied by the 10 of 34 degrees. And if you punch that into your calculator, you get that line uh, to be 134,9 meters. Okay, 134,9. We had to work in triangle ADE because it is a right angle triangle. Now we need to work in triangle ADC. Our reference angle in triangle ADC is the 62 degrees. This is the opposite side and AD is still the adjacent side because this side here is the hypotenuse. It's opposite the right angle. So again, we are dealing with opposite over adjacent. So the 10 of 62 degrees 
will be equal to DC, which is the opposite side, over 200. So therefore, DC is equal to 200 multiplied by the tan of 62 degrees, which is 376,1. We know, we wrote on this relationship to begin with, that EC is equal to ED plus DC, so therefore EC will be 134,9 plus 376,1, which is equal to 511 meters. So therefore, the height of the tower is 511 meters.